And now for Maryland, I've got to believe it's Miller time. They flatten it out, 1-4. Miller's got it. Five seconds to go. Miller. In one word, Diamond Miller is... Clutch. She hits it at the buzzer! Maryland! Diamond is the epitome of a competitor. She just wants to win, and she will do anything in her power to make her team win. She's really competitive, like really competitive. She represents everything our program is all about. She's been here for four years and she understands our standard and what it means to put on a Maryland uniform. So she epitomizes what it means to be a Maryland player. Now you just continue to keep raising the bar, right? We can do special things in this locker room when we play like that, yeah. right? Diamond, that's a hell of a shot. Right? Yeah. Hell of a shot. Right? And, and wanting that responsibility, love it. Right? Love it. A phenomenal execution. I love the growth that I've seen in Diamond now as a senior. And, you know, it's been a process from her freshman year where she couldn't look you in the eyes and put a full sentence together to now she can articulate and, and tell you what she's thinking. I have grown so much over time being at Maryland. I feel like. I just matured in all levels. When you're young, you just care about the little things, and now I'm starting to think about big picture and like my future and stuff like that. Hey, Diamond. <clears throat> um, just a quick note. I don't know if you've seen, but Kevin Durant's Twitter after. I heard. <laughs> How cool is that for you to be able to see? Um, that is really, really cool. Uh, <laughs> Wow, uh, I don't, I'm still, that is just something I have to process later, but uh, the fact that he's in the NBA and he supports women's basketball is extremely huge, and we're just going to keep growing the game, and people need to watch us because we all could ball, and we all are talented, and just because we're women doesn't mean we're less than than any other man, so it was really good to see that tweet. Like you had to run the office and know which shots are yours, because sometimes are yours. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes. Our managers, I, I can't say enough for the work that they put in. They're always there an hour before practice, an hour after practice. So basically we get to practice like before all the coaches and everyone else gets here and we set up all the waters, we get all like the balls and all the other practice equipment out. Eight, okay. The seven is on enough. Oh, you're mic'd up, you're mic'd up. Yeah, here you go, Gigi. You don't want it? Name on top. And then for 5VO, we'll need passers on the baseline, but we're gonna have scout anyway because it's against nobody, so we can have passers with scout. What do you want? What? <laughs> you think. <laughs> Ball? You know, as a head coach, I get to stand in front, but I can't say enough for, you know, our staff, you know, the scouting that they do, our scout team, um, and then our support staff. They're the ones that, uh, you know, put everything in play for us to be able to do our jobs and be successful. And it's back to Maryland with six seconds, and Brenda Fries calls a timeout. Brenda Freeze, all smiles. She loves these moments. Looking for career win number 600 tonight. And she is perfect all time at Mackey Arena. Miller, Alexander, Myers, and Masonis on the floor for Maryland. Myers with the ball. Six seconds to play. Out to Sellers for the win. Yes! At the buzzer! Even more important, Brenda Freeze with her 600th career win. start calling you guys the cardiac kids yeah. <laughs> but uh, that's a hell of a win 
wouldn't want to do 600 with anyone else but you guys. You win your 600th career game. Why has it been special for you at Maryland? Oh gosh, uh, I mean they've been so good to me and my family. I, I think most, most importantly is just uh, the players that I've gotten to coach, the families, and you know obviously the staff that so many staffs that have been a part of 600 wins. This is why you get into coaching is to to have uh, you know that journey with your players. You know, it speaks volumes for Diamond that she's been here for four years to show her loyalty to our Maryland program. And it hasn't been an easy journey by any means. So I love, that's what I've always loved as a coach is to watch young players go through tough times and to watch it all come out in their journey of their senior year. And that's why, you know, Diamond has, um, you know, become the leader of this team. Diamond Miller is such a fun player to watch. I thought Diamond made so many championship plays for us when she would draw the attention of her scout <laughs> and collapse and just make plays for others. That's what winners do. And she has the flair for the big moments as we saw a week ago. the big one when it matters most. That's what all the big time players, they embrace those moments, they want that responsibility, and she came through, and uh, the rest is history. And that'll do it. For the first time in school history, the Maryland Terrapins beat Connecticut.